Hello everyone. I'm going to read you a really famous story, one that many of you have probably heard before. It's called The Night Before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in the hopes that St Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, with visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mamma in her kerchief, and I in my cap, has just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a lustre of midday to the objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donda and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the courses they flew, with sleigh full of toys and St Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. Let me show you. The stump of a pipe he held in his teeth and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly, jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Good night.